first we will discuss installation of python ide okay now once you write the python program you need some software for executing the python program for executing the python program we we have many number of softwares are there among them the first two basic thing is python ide in this session first i will show you this one and i write some programs by using ide after that we will move to the next version suppose jupiter or pycharm anyway different things are available the proceed the program is same just the implementation that is the execution of procedure is different anyway we will discuss all the things okay first we are moving to installation of python ide okay clear And again, I am repeating, if you have any doubts, you can unmute yourself and ask the doubts, not a problem. You can unmute yourself and ask the doubts. Clear? Now. So, again, I am repeating. In this session, we will discuss installation of IDLE. The procedure is very simple. First, to go to any browser. For example, I am going to this browser in this type the official website the official website is python.org python.org this is the official website and then press enter and then press enter immediately this page is opened okay now different options are there about downloads documentation community etc simply place your cursor on downloads even no need to click also just to place your cursor on downloads see this one here windows mac os and other platforms that means different operating systems by default system shown the windows operating system download for windows download for windows especially it shows the latest version this is the latest version of python software for example if you doesn't want the latest version you want any another version the procedure is simply if you want windows click on windows whatever the operating system you want move to that operating system so the latest version is 3.11.5 sir i does not want that one for example i want 3.11.4 so simply click on this one 3.11.4 you can download that one clear whatever the version you want simply click on that version simply click on that version generally what is the good procedure we are installing the latest version why to support all the features to modify all the bugs click on this one here i am using windows operating system that is the reason click on this windows latest version for example if you are using other platforms see python for aix python for ibm i python for ios python for solaris so depending upon the operating system okay once downloaded move to the file here click on this one double click on this one
wait for one second it will ready to install see this one here what happened in my system already the same already python 3.11 version is available that is the reason it shows upgrade to python suppose you are installing newly it shows installation install and custom installation install and customize installation see this one already in my system all are available now what is the procedure to you remember here you have two options are there one is installation next one is customize installation and at the bottom one check box is there check the path one with message with the path check box is there now your thing is select the check box and click on install select the check box and click on install and next to next to next to finish you no need to do anything just to only selection of installation and check box sufficient next to next to next to automatically your python ide is installed python ide is installed that is the simple procedure very very simple procedure only thing you need to remember is move to the official website python.org okay once the installation is completed next step is you need to open and how to use open and how to use for that go to start go to start here type i d l e sorry type i d l e okay so these are the different versions available in my system so i will close this one s close s this one this is 3.10 this is 3.11 whatever you want you can open either 3.10 or 3.11 if you want you can open any file so version is not an important ideally go to the start search ideally once you type ideally the python ideally is open simply that is a shell generally we are writing our programs there we are writing our programs there now see this one this is the serious one ideally shell ideally shell now everyone remember two points modes of this python ideally we have two modes one is interactive mode second one is script mode in this python ideally we have two modes one is interactive mode second one is script mode so what is the difference and on which mode we are writing the program that is the very very important point remember interactive mode is used for writing small programs in the sense small commands see once you open ideally this is called interactive mode whatever the page is opened this page is called interactive mode in this interactive mode we just to type the commands for example 2 plus 3 just to type one single line command and press enter you are getting the output you are getting the output so in interactive mode if you given the command and press enter immediately immediately you are getting the output 
but what is the problem suppose i given one command if you want to change it is not possible to edit again you need to retype the command you got my point for example here i am writing one statement assume print you don't know right now print welcome observe here i forgot to write one quotation press enter anyway it gives an error okay just now i re realized that this quotation is missing now it is not possible to edit again you need to retype the statement that is the problem what is the advantages simply single line commands we are directly getting the output but the disadvantage is so not possible to edit once it is executed and at the same time it is not possible to save the commands also in the future if you want already today i written the program in the future again if you want the same logic you need to retype you need to retype now to overcome such problems the second one the second one is script mode is used what is a script mode in this a new file is created in this a new file is created within that file we are writing our programs a program of any size there is no restriction within that file we are writing our programs and remember the files are saved with dot py suppose if it is a c program the file is saved with dot c c++ program dot cpp java program dot java python program dot py now open a new file within that file write down your program and save the file with dot py anyway if you are using ideally automatically it is taken if it is not taken you need to write dot py what are the advantages you can write the large programs we can use in the future if you want you can edit okay so all the those advantages now interactive mode is clear how to open a script mode simply go to file click on file select the option new file a new window is opened within this window you are performing operation that is you are writing your program for example here i am writing one simple program ignore the logic right now the logic is not important here i am writing some statement what is the step generally for of writing the program is not only important thing you need to save the program and then run the program how to save the program file save go to file save you can give any name and by default it shows the location where your python file python software that is a python ide is installed if you want you can change the location not a problem you want you can place at any position you can place at any position for example day one this is my name you can give any name remember by default it is shown as python files that is the reason no need to give if it doesn't shows the python files now file name dot py you need to give like this otherwise not a problem click on save now my python file is saved this is the location i again repeating you can change the location also that is not a constraint create a folder with your name 
and save all the programs within that folder for future reference also now next step is run the program run the program run here run module every script is considered as a module remember every python program that we return is considered as a module once we click on run module we are moving to interactive mode and see the output is displayed in the interactive mode the output is displayed in the interactive mode clear this is the installation of python ideally after installation what are the different modes of writing the program now which one is preferable depending upon your requirement only i want to execute simple simple statements move to this interactive mode if you have large programs move to uh, the script mode that is completely our wish anyway we know the software now step by step we give the prerequisites for writing the program okay fine now any doubts under this one installation and modes any doubts under installation and modes okay clear now i am moving into the next point now i will discuss the concept of identifiers what is an identifier why the identifiers are required to the programming language remember this identifier plays very 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 crucial role in any programming language not only in python whether it is a c c++ java python whatever the programming language identifier has the very important role first of all what is an identifier identifier is simply a name given to variables functions and different objects classes etc so in your program you are using different variables functions classes objects everyone have some name everyone have some name that names are given by identifier now identifier is simply a name given to all those things in your program now what are the rules you need to follow blindly whatever the name you want it is not possible to give such name you need to follow some rules the rules are an identifier consists of alphabets an identifier consists of alphabets that is a to z or a to z observe the difference either upper case or lower case remember the thing upper case letters are different from lower case letters an identifier consists of alphabets next one an identifier may consists of digits digits are from 0 to 9 digits are from 0 to 9 and an identifier consists of special symbol so except alphabets and digits one special symbol is allowed that is underscore only underscore remember only underscore is allowed these are the characters that are placed in an identifier 
all are not compulsory these are the allowed characters that are placed in the identifier now what is the rule the rule is an identifier does not starts with a digit this is my first rule an identifier that is a name for example a variable assume a variable variable have some name the name of the variable does not starts with a digit obviously the name starts with either alphabet or the name starts with underscore now i am given some examples a this is an identifier this is the valid one for example a1 this is the valid one and underscore a this is valid one a b c this is valid remember this is a single name this is a single name the number of letters is not an important single name for example underscore a123 this is also valid now 1a this is invalid here the name begin with digit the name begin with digit a underscore b underscore one this one is valid here the characters are a b and digit and underscore and begin with a letter not a problem and for example a dollar it is invalid why dollar other than underscore no special character is allowed other than underscore no special character is allowed you got the point that is the rule very simple for example we all have names how why our parents given the name based on the date of birth based on the star at the time of birth simply here also the identifier begin with these things only fixed now one more point is an identifier is not a keyword an identifier is not a keyword what is the term keyword again i will move to the concept keyword i will come back after completion of keyword what is a keyword keywords are simply the reserved words what is mean by reserved words at the time of a language development some words are reserved for some specific purpose some words are reserved for some specific purpose such words are called keywords that means the words are used only for that purpose the words are used only for that purpose so such words are not allowed as identifier why identifier is the names given by the programmer that is users identifiers are the names given by the users but keywords are the words reserved by the developers developers in the sense the person who developed the programming language so the keywords are not used as identifier in python we have a total of 33 keywords python we have a total of 33 keywords for example a and d and or yield etc many number if for range while true capital t false and none so actually except these three keywords remaining all the 30 keywords are in lower case only are in lower case only these three keywords true false none the first letter is the upper case okay anyway total 33 keywords are there 33 keywords are reserved for some specific purpose those are not used as an identifier and the last point is there is no limit on the length of the identifier what is the meaning there is no limit that means you can give a name 
of any length for example an identifier here the length of identifier is 1 here 2 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 such that there is no limit on the length of identifier there you can give variable of any length but even though they are providing any length we are writing the name according to my program requirements okay these are the identifiers now i will show you one example assume a is equal to sum 5 ignore the logic assume a is equal to sum 5 press enter there is no problem why here a is equal to 5 a is a variable i will discuss the variable concept later a is the variable that is a valid now underscore b is equal to sum 2 no error that means this is also a valid identifier 1 a is equal to sum 6 now see this one we are getting syntax error now you understand the point you need to follow the rules for example a dollar not only dollar other than underscore everything is not allowed is equal to sum 30 see again invalid syntax now clear other than underscore nothing is allowed so these are the identifier and what keyword concepts clear everyone know identifier and keywords now now anyone have any doubt related to identifier and keyword any doubt related to identifier and keyword okay fine Now I am okay. One second. Any message? No. Fine. Okay. Now I have, I will discuss variable. Remember? Now we are going to discuss about the concept of variable. First of all, what is a variable? Variable is simply a memory location variable is simply a memory location to hold a value to hold a value for example a is equal to 5 this is the statement a is equal to 5 in this statement a is called a variable and this variable will hold the value 5 the variable will hold the value 5 internally what happened whenever you are writing the statement a is equal to 5 some memory is created inside your system assume the address is some thousand not thousand actually unique address just for example assume the address is thousand within this particular address a value 5 is stored and this is referred by using the name a a is the name of the variable for giving the name you need to follow the rules of the identifier now what is a variable variable is an identifier which is used to hold some value which is used to hold some value whenever a variable is created means automatically some memory is allocated within that memory my value is stored within that memory my value is stored now remember python is a dynamically 
టైపుడు లాంగ్వేజ్ పైథాన్ ఈజ్ డైనమికల్లీ టైపుడు లాంగ్వేజ్ యూ ఆల్రెడీ నో ద కాన్సెప్ట్ డైనమికల్లీ టైపుడ్ వాట్ ఈస్ మీన్ బై దిస్ వన్ హియర్ నో నీడ్ టు క్లేర్ నో నీడ్ టు డిక్లేర్ ద వేరియబుల్ ఇన్ అడ్వాన్స్ no need to specify the data type if you want you can use the variable at any point of time at any type of value python is dynamically typed i already explained this dynamically typed concept in why python concept okay anyway a variable is created with some memory location now my question is i want to create three variables my aim is i want to create three variables how to create the variables suppose a is equal to 2 next b is equal to some 3 c is equal to some 4 this is the procedure general procedure okay go to the command prompt that is shell here a is equal to sum 2 press enter b is equal to sum 3 press enter c is equal to sum 4 plus enter here i created three variables remember in the interactive mode it always consider the last saved command so until you modify the a value until closing of this page a value is 2 now a just to type the variable press enter it gives the answer a value is 2 b value is 3 c value is 4 fine now my aim is not to read the variables multiple variables in multiple lines now my aim is reading multiple variables with different values in a single line this is available in python python have the concept of multiple variables reading in a single line how simply a comma b comma c write down all the variables separated by comma write down all the variables separated by comma is equal to all the values separated by comma here how many variables you have three variables you need to give three values i think you understand the procedure the first value is assigned to first variable the second value is assigned to this one this value is assigned to this one anyway we will check anyway we will check that one see a comma b comma c is equal to 11 comma 12 comma 13 now what is a value 11 what is b value 12 c value 13 here previously a value is equal to 2 here whenever you updated in the cup in the shell that is in the interactive mode whenever you do some updation from that updation only it uses the updated value now a b c for example a comma b comma c is equal to 11 comma 12 what happened i have three variables but i am assigning only two values three variables and two values is it possible what is the value of c we are not assigning any value automatically it gives an error always remember the type of errors always remember the types of errors the type is value error here the error occur because of not enough values to unpack how many i expected three 
a b c i expected 3 how many i got 2 what is the error this one i that means by reading the error only you are in a position to resolve the error not enough values to unpack value error exactly what is the another case suppose 11 comma 12 comma 13 i have two variables but more values so here what is error too many values to initialize previously not enough values here too many values see this one value error too many values i expected only two if crosses two means here you can write three four five whatever it is that is considered as an error now clear the variable and then how to create multiple variables with different values in a single line anyway multiple variables with the same value this is available in all the programming like a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to some 10 this is the statement a equal to b equal to c is equal to 10 what is the meaning now all the a b c hold the value 10 simply 10 is assigned to c now what is the value of c 10 that is assigned to b the value of b is assigned to a like this you can create multiple variables with the same value with different values in a single line okay next point is initially i used one word a variable will hold some value will hold some value in the sense compulsory you need to assign some memory memory in the sense address just to, for example i used the address now i want to know in which address your variable is stored that is your e now for that we have one function id of remember the name of the function id of is the function which is used to return the address in which memory location the variable or not only variable whatever it is to return the address of a particular component so move to this one I have a value, suppose a is equal to some 10, id of a, address of a, remember, observe, this is address of a, remember, in your system, the address may be changed, depending upon the free storage from system to system, the address vary, system to system, the address vary, this is the address in my system, this is the address in my system. For example, b is equal to some 20, id of b. So, this is the address. In this location, the variable b is stored. Now, you got it? id is used to get the address. To get the address. This is the variable. This is the variable concept. Now, anyone have any doubt? Related to variable, related to variable. Okay. Now, identifier is used to define the rules. By using that rule only, I am creating the variable. Now, the question is why variables are used to perform operations only. Anyway, we will write the program. If I write at least one program, you get the complete answer. Why? Here in the first prerequisite, I am explaining the basic requirements for writing a program. Once we write the program, then you will get the complete idea of, okay, why we are using all those things. Clear. Moving into next point. Hi. Uh, this ah, is yes, Uh I, we, 
we are creating the variable while it will be assigning to the some memory okay we are find out the by using id some uh, mm. allocation numbers will be getting what is the yes. use for uh, getting the allocation where it will be yes. utilizing for that okay very good question simple answer uh, for example i will show you one example then i will give you the complete idea suppose a is equal, oh, sorry a is equal to 10 again i repeat id of a what is the address this is the address the value of a is equal to 10 b is equal to 10 only assume b also is 10 b value is also 10 id of b generally a variable and b variable both are different but observe the address of b same address the address of b same address that means actually python have an advantage what is advantage for example if you accept python if you are moving into any programming language if the variable name differ in that sense each variable different memory location is assigned that is wastage of memory but coming to python if one variable is created in one address with a value whenever i am created a new variable go to already allocated address for example address thousand i am going to address thousand the same value is existed now b also refers to the same location here every traversing based on address now when you will get the complete idea means i have one top different topics are there string list tuple etc different topics are there under this topic you will get the complete idea for example for example one second see this one anyway right now you don't know l is equal to one two three four five this is one list this is one list within that particular I am storing five values. It is possible in Python. I am storing five values. By mistake, I given first value as one. But right now, I does not need one. I want 11. Now, L of 0 is equal to 11. Now, L. Change this value. Now, the thing is, how the system knows where the L is stored? Where the L is stored? Based on the address only. For example, for you or for me only, how they are identified based on our other number, based on our author ID or based on our physical home address or my system is identified based on my IP address, based on MAC address. Exactly. If you are created something, each and everything has some location. Why? Why in the sense? If you want to refer anything. If you want to add anything, if you want to delete, if you want to modify, if you want to do anything, address is needed. Clear? Yeah. Yes. Anyway, anyway, by moving the concept of string, list, to tuple, dictionary, you will get the complete idea, not a problem. You will get the complete idea. At that time, you only find out the addresses. Yes now and i got one message uh, how can we find stored value by using the address okay for that i will explain later why because this is not an easy thing so in c language this is directly possible in c language that is directly possible by using the concept of pointers in c we have the concept of pointers but remember in python we do not have the concept of pointers so that is a completely different procedure and remember for all these questions the solution is string list to tuple dictionary set five terms are there for all those questions that is the solution anyway uh, approximately after two or three sessions we come to that particular topic also not a problem most probably in the next session also next session only i introduce the concepts just i introduce these concepts no problem
Okay, almost two. Okay. Now any doubts? I will so can you to go talk. back to the ID one? Um, sorry. Yes. Yes, ID L E. Yeah. What is that ID A ID B? Sorry, I joined late. Okay. So actually, okay, no problem. ID hmm. is the function which is used to get the address. For example, A is a variable a is a variable used to store some value okay in right. which location the value is stored everyone has some address to know right. the address we are using id so id of if you are writing the variable name it returns the address where the variable a is stored clear correct yes okay Anyone, so the, any doubts? No. Yeah, but the address is same 85824. Yes. That IDB also have a 5824 ending with. Yes, that That's have one I reason is there. Yes, yes. Huh? That have internally one reason is there. Why same address? That is one reason is there. For example, for all the variables, it is not same. For example, see this one. Here A is equal to 10. The address is some 824. B mm -hmm. is 10. The address is 824. Now, question is both A and B are different variables, but you are getting the same address. But remember, yes. this is not equal for all the cases. There are some restrictions are there. What is the restriction? For example, A is equal to some 2000. Just one example. ID of A. Remember, 880 is address. Some B is equal to same 2000. ID of B. So the address is very. Even though mm -hmm. A and B have same values, the address is very. Why? Why in the sense, whenever I am moving to the next topic, data types, then I will explain this one. Right now, can it is not put, possible to understand. Can you put A equal to 1000 and print again? ID A. That is a completely different one if you have different value means completely different address that is not a constraint okay. Okay. If the variables are different means not a constraint even though same value for 10 it given the same address but some other value it given the different address for that yeah. some rules are there some rules are there i will explain okay. the rules whenever i am moving to the next topic Today, tomorrow only, tomorrow only, I am moving to the concept of data type. There we so, have integers, one rule. Yes. What did you cover today? Because I, I joined late. Yes, uh, today I covered the installation. That is this one, ideally. Okay. How to install ideally. this ideally? The installation yeah, I I and the variable and keywords, identifier, variables three subtopics three simple topics identifier keywords and variables only what is the second one what is it keywords 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 yes and one more important thing after completion of tomorrow session we will share the document also remember whatever the contents we discussed in this session we will share the complete document Along with what are the programs we practiced in our session, we will share the theoretical document along with the practiced program, along with the recorded video also, no problem. In any worst to case, in any worst to case, if you missed the session, means go through the document and whatever the practiced programs and then along with the recorded videos. Not a problem. Yes. Any doubts? Anyone, please. Here I will move from scratch. No problem. Sir, what are the scenarios where we use this IDLE shell? One question. Sir, you said that there are 30. No, I said 33 keywords. I said 33 keywords. Among that 33 keywords, I said 30 are lower case. 30 are lower case. 3 are starts with upper case. Now, what are the 30 keywords? I will explain. I will give the 30 keywords. When, if you know the concept of import, 
remember everything is interrelated everything is interrelated if you know the keyword import once you sorry once you know the import keyword then only you will get okay what are the 33 are keywords something? are you sharing yes? something i see only the paint brush Ah, yes, yes, I am not sharing anything, just I am explaining. So, in okay. the chat box, one question is there. For that question, I am explaining the this. Yes. Okay. Anyway, I will give you, anyway, the first session only, it is, uh, first session only, it is not possible. Even though, if you want, I will give, that is not a problem. But, it is very difficult to understand the first session only, if I am using the imports keyword, everything somewhat difficult to you somewhat difficult to you that is the only reason yes import See. But here, this understanding is different. This understanding is difficult. So, these are the total 33 keywords. These are the total 33 keywords. Okay. How, what is this statement? How to write this statement? Once we move on, you will get the complete idea. For that reason only, I will not explain. Just I give the figure 33. Okay, fine. And one question. What are the scenarios where we use this IDLE shell? Remember, not only IDLE, we can use anything, either IDLE, PyCharm, Google Lab and Jupyter, Spider, we can use anything. So, actually, today is the starting sessions. You are learning the basics of Python. For that, I am using this IDLE. Once we move on, once we move on, we will move to Jupyter. We will move to PyCharm, no problem. We will move to advanced things also. The basic session, I introduced the basic ideally only. Okay, clear. So, Any so other the keywords, keywords, you cannot create a variable, right? You cannot use exactly. Ex okay. Exactly, perfect. For example, for your understanding, so these are the 33 keywords. If I am trying to create, suppose pass is equal to some 20. See this one, it gives an error. Here, pass is the keyword. It is not possible to create. Anyway, based on the color only, we can identify. See the color of keywords. If you try to use the import, import is also a keyword. See this one. Here the import. The colors of keywords, everything has some fixed color in Python. By using that color only, it is possible to identify. Yes. Anything else? Anyone? No problem. The good thing is, if you have any doubt in your mind, ask the doubt, resolve the doubts. Then only it's very fine for you. Anyway, after completion of tomorrow's session onwards, that is from the next to Monday session onwards, we will share the complete documentation also. No problem. Can we run a file from the Python uh, IDLE, sir? Yes, I already run the file. See this one. There should Here, be any pass. Okay. Sorry, any? There should be setting any path in the Python. No, no, no. For, no, 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 not at all required. Not at all required. You no need to set any path. Everything is happened automatically. You no need to do anything. Simple okay. thing. No need to do anything. For example, coming to Java in that programming language, you need to set the path. Python has this is the advantage. Automatically, they build the path only. No problem. Yes, any other else? Okay, fine. Closing the session. In the next session, I will move to the topic of data types. Move to the topic of data types. Once the data type concept is completed, remember everyone, please must and should attend the tomorrow session. The tomorrow session is the most important session. Why? Because the entire programming is related to Today's session variables and the next session data type only. If you know these two things, the entire, entire Python is related to these two things only. Tomorrow is the very, very, very important session. I will move to the next session. Okay, thank you.
for the 